so hey guys welcome back so in this lecture i am going to show how you can integrate the github account with your sonar cube server so for that the first requirement is that your sonar cube server should up and running on your local system so as of now my sonar cube server is up and running this is operational so as of now we don't have any project set up on our local sonar cube server so here you can see the how do you want to create your project through the local project we already created we have covered in the previous videos now we want to create the project with the help of github account so you can see the github account is there and this you can access from the project okay now if you go to the administrations part from the devops platform integrations also you can access the github bitbucket azure devops and gitlab so i will select the github now create a configuration so now the configuration name is test git sonar okay test git with sonar now here the github app url so now here if you are using the github enterprises you need to enter this one if you are using the github.com so on here you can see we are using the github.com so we will go to the repository and this is the github.com and that's why it is asking to enter this url so i will enter this url here now it is asking the github app id now what is the app id let's create the app id in the github account so here we need to create a github app id so you can go to your account go to the settings again then go to the developer options on the left bottom side and here you need to set up a new github app so you click on the new github app and you need to provide the github app we will keep the app name is test app and is the home page url so here the full url of your github apps website so which the home page url we will go to this link and this is the our repository part so we need to enter the home page url is this one this is our home page url your github.com then your username then your repository name so this is your home page url so you can enter the home page url here and then what will be your callback url so the same we can use the user authentication this is the code uh, expire the user authentication token and now come down you need this is the optional these are the active you can um, deactivate this one now the secrets permissions repository permissions so you can select the repository permission read write administrations okay check code scanning everything so you can provide the permissions here okay if you don't have the permissions you cannot see the merge request at other request projects so you can select the read write okay and uh, so you select the request for the pull request also pull request project packages and merge queue issues if you want to see the issues environmental related permissions deployment related permissions and commit status code scanning alerts actions you can select these ones okay so these permissions you required and organizational permission so administration level permissions at read write blocking users read write and if you scroll down member all the members should have the read write permissions over them and personal access token read write and plan project related read write or admin level and account related permissions you can block another account and all so you read write email addresses also read write so you can select the permissions if you don't know you can select all the permissions okay and now create a github app all right so you can select the github name if that is already exist you can try the another name so i just try the another name and now you can see the github 12023 is created now this is the app name now registration is successful you must generate a private key so in order to install the github okay first let me explain this is the app id 
and this is the client id and here we will create a new client secret and this everything is created okay so you just save and changes okay now uh, app id is created so you can select this app id and then go to your sonar cube setting now we enter the app id now it is asking the client id and the secret so again we will come here you can see this is the client id so we enter the client id we need the client secret so from here you can generate a new client secret generate a new client secret now you can see this is the new client secret is already generated and come here and enter the client secret we need to generate a private key so you can scroll down and you can generate a private key from here and here you can generate the private key so your private key is generated so if you go here or you, you can copy the private key from here this is the private key and if you want to see in the downloads so you can go to the downloads edit the private key okay so this is the private key you need to copy the whole the private key so you copy the private key paste it here now save the configuration now here missing the permissions permission granted on checks is null should be right so maybe we have some permission related issues so let's go back and go to your permissions and the events and under the repository so let's come to the repository here we have the checks you can see the checks is no access so i will select read and write checks is the read and write okay you will get the error if you don't select these options so now i will go to the sonar cube and check the configuration okay now the configuration is done so finally we have done the configuration with our github account we didn't install the app click on the install app okay first install the app so we will install the app all repositories and uh, install the app now we have successfully installed the app so we have created the github app app 12023 this is the app we have created and we have set up this app and then we have installed this app on our the github account then we have provided some permissions for the sonar cube and finally we have done the configurations here now this is the task we have done